Good morning, I'm Tony Higginson and today I'm photographing in heavy fog, thick fog. It's murky, it's kind of dark, it's got a very eerie feel to it, these woods. But I love that, it's great. You know, it gives me loads of creative opportunities to shoot different kinds of images. I've not got my camera on my tripod because it's kind of drizzling as well uh, and everything's getting wet, so I've packed that away while I make the video. Well, I'm shooting a couple of different kinds of images. I'm trying to isolate trees and shoot them on their own I'm using my tilt shift to get all my verticals correct uh, so I can shift up to achieve that look and really nice. And then the shot I really wanted, and I've been wanting to shoot this kind of image for years, is the zoomed in image of sort of tree trunks. And there's some wonderful conifers around this area. And what you basically do is you put your 200mm lens on, no filters, no long exposure, nothing like that. Put it to f11 and just fire away and what we're, I'll show you what we're doing I'm shooting scenes like this and it's the recession as as the trees go into the distance so they're covered in more and more of the fog and so they go a lighter a lighter shade of pale that's a song isn't it lighter shade of pale not good one actually as well Procol Harum see I know my stuff and uh, <laughs> I'm not really a music man, to be honest. A lot of people love it, but I don't mind listening to the odd tune, but I'm more visual. I'd much rather look at pictures than listen to music. You know, that's, I suppose that's the great thing about life. Everyone's different. But this is a great spot, really enjoying it. And I'm, I've got a, a little scene in the distance and I'm gonna go ahead off and see if it looks how I hope it's gonna look. If it does, I think it's gonna make a really interesting image. So I'll see you later. Now this has been interesting. I've never actually come out to these trees and it's these dead trees that I had my eye on photographing. And now I'm here, they're not doing much for me, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it's one of them things, you sort of see an idea and you think, oh, that's gonna work in these conditions. And when you finally try it, I just don't think it's working. You know, they're just, it's just flat and bland and boring. The way I've actually walked from is actually more interesting this tree here i quite like that and i've shot an image of that just that tree on its own you know the, there are some but there is potential here i'm just not really seeing it <laughs> and i'm gonna walk a bit further it's treacherous this ground it's really difficult to walk on it's them it's those kind of uh, tufts of ryegrass so you step on the ryegrass and when you miss one boom you're down and you're into water so it is really hard going and um, without wellies you get soaked and even in wellies there's a good chance you will but i'm going to push on a bit further and see if i can make something of these trees when i get a bit closer to them maybe i'll see something that i'm not yet seeing but uh yeah probably got one one image but nothing like as good as the stuff i was getting in the woods but you know hey oh that's the challenge i'll crack on taken me a while but I've managed to find a composition that I like that I think works really well and it's, it's a bit more than just trees in the mist um, and what it is it's this silver birch it's got a lovely shape to it really nice and I do like that tree in the background there I photographed that a few times just on its own but with the two of them I'm shooting them in portrait format and I'm using my tilt shift so 
I'm focusing on the grass and the tree. So I've got a bit of tilt. I'm shifting down a touch just to keep the tree vertical, keep all my perspectives correct. And I'm using a 0.6 soft grad just to darken that top section down to pull a li little bit of light into the foreground. I could do it afterwards in Photoshop, but I like to do it all in camera if I can. Uh, and settings wise, I don't often talk about settings and that might be something people are asking. Why don't you tell us these settings? I just don't think they're that important. If you come here or wherever, you're not going to be able to use my settings. It's a different day. The light's different. You know, your filter might be slightly different. Having said that, I'm at F11 at half a second. And that's just giving me a really nice exposure here. So get out there yourself in these conditions. There's mist all over the winter, you know, if, if you follow and track it you'll be able to get some of these shots yourself. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've driven on to Hodge Close. I'm back at Hodge Close, you may say. Yep, I love it here. And I like revisiting the same place again and again, just to really get to know it. And there's some really nice woods up home fell that I've not video, done, not done any video work up there yet. So I'm going to go and have a wander, see what I can shoot. I might shoot some handheld stuff, up my ISO a bit, 5.6, F5.6, no tripod and just see if I can grab stuff handheld. And it is a good technique that, I learned that off a guy called Mark Littlejohn. He won Landscape Photography of the Year about three years ago using this technique. That he, I say he came up with it, but I suppose he did. Other landscapers weren't shooting in that way before him. Uh, and it's now a technique that I use from time to time. You know, it, it frees me up. You know, tripod and all that stuff. You can just really work on composition and subject, which seems to produce the goods for Mark. Anyway, his, his work's fantastic. I'll put a link below to his work. Check him out. And... Come with me, I'll see whether or not I can shoot any video up there because this fog and it's that very wet, drizzly sort of uh, fog that gets everything wet. So if it's still wet up there, I'll not be able to shoot video, but hopefully I will. If I can't, I'll grab some shots uh, and show you what I can come up with. Well, that was interesting. As soon as I got out of the car after recording that other video, basically the kind of rain stopped and the fog kind of left as well. So I decided to bring my tripod up. I've shot a few at 5.6, like I said I would, but I've come across this scene. It's a classic home fell shot. It's been shot by loads of people. Uh, lovely birch by the side of this rock. And I photographed that in portrait orientation. And uh, there's some lovely detail in the foreground and then the mist is just setting everything off just removing all distraction it's just a really kind of um what's the word i'm thinking of evocative image when you see something like that you just think and this is what it's all about love it so that's really nice shot i'm happy i'm so glad i brought my tripod <laughs> as much as i like shooting at f5.6 and stuff i was so glad to be able to put that at f14 and get it at iso 100 because it'll just process up lovely that so the mist is really coming now so i'm just going to keep wandering around and seeing what i can get there's shots everywhere mm -hmm. 